decentralization of authority and power to the exclusion of others interested in the running of the affairs of the state, so, so the seeds of predatory politics, paternalism, autocracy, limited accountability, and non-transparency. And I think also the potential for civil conflict. In short, did the leaders capture the state and foster corrupt practices of the sort that are prevalent today? This is evident, especially in countries where leaders act as kings, institutions are weak and inadequately functional. Freedom and civil participation are restricted and the playing field and the rules of the game tilt in favor of those well connected politically. It is a, it is a surprise that competition, co corruption is institutionalized and endemic in African states and, a, a cha and still a challenge to development. I mean, those are na nagging questions. And I, I, I do not intend to prosecute uh, the, our, our, our forebears. Mr. Chairman, power corrupts and corrupt guardians of the public press or public services is a potential force for economic destruction. For several decades, corruption was a taboo that was out of place in the dialogue on economic reform. Everyone knew it was a canker, but no one dared mention it for political correctness. 